Shelfside's first table featured a beautiful hexagonal design built for games of all shapes and sizes. But I kept getting questions asked like, is this a poker table or a Catan table? A Catan table. Have you ever once seen And while the first Shelfside table was good, there is a bit of a learning curve. We here at Shelfside have learned a lot from our first table. This is Shelfside's 2.0 table, a rectangular table built for board games of all type. Okay, so what do we so, have here, Pranav? So, Another this is table. the table. This is one the, more this, table. One more. This is the last one. I pro uh, so we have one more. I decided to go with the rectangle this time just because I knew all the joints and I wanted to work with stuff that I already knew how to make. These, this right here is our updated table. Um, you oh, can see yeah. this is like the arena sitting down here. These are the borders. This right here is our table leg. This is probably going to be the hardest part to make out of all this. Actually, this is definitely going to be the hardest part. Now, the goal for all of this is for this to be easily disassemblable. So I want it to be easy to take apart in once a month. I figure a couple minutes over a month, that's fine. So that's our goal. Okay. Okay, so all we have left to cut off is the little nib over there, and then it should fit into here. Again, we want these to be kind of tight fits, but nothing like ridiculous, because like the big point of, one of the big points that I want to stress this table is that it's disassemblable. 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 These lap joints should provide that disassemblability. Let's test it out. I don't want to overcut it and then have a loose fit problem. Okay. So I think we need to cut to the lines a little bit more. Ideal, look at that. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of wiggle, but other than that, we golden. So this is what the side of our table is gonna look like. Well, uh, ideally, we actually have to cut down another little bit inside here. So you can kind of see that the, like it's raised up a little bit. Do you see that? So what I'm gonna do is just line all of them up together and then take a file and just file it down a little bit, basically. Kind of make sure I file it down evenly. The last thing I want to do is do too much. What we're going to do is just the same cuts that we did here. We're just going to do them all over again. So just knock out the base there. Does that make sense? Uh, okay. And... Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. This is level now. So, I'm gonna cut the rest of them. Wow. So you're just, in, you're just changing the thickness right now? Yeah, this is so we can pass those guys through. So now let's... Ready? Stack them on one side, pass them to the other side, and then just pass it back and forth, <coughs> essentially. So you want me to go on that side and just help you pass it back and forth? Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Is that the mahogany? This is the mahogany. Beautiful. Look at this thing. This is the piece that we're gonna use to build the top of the table. This is kind of what it's going to, it's gonna rest on here, like this, and then our arms would rest on this. Not this thick, it's gonna be a good amount thicker. Uh, I see, yeah. Now we're gonna rip these down. So, the first thing we wanna do is look at the bad side. So this is the bad side. Um, and we wanna take a look at, like we just wanna basically knock that off. Okay. Come on, this is sick. That's a table for you. Right? So our goal is to have magnets on this side and on this side. So all we have to do is just 
plop this right on here and it'll align itself. These legs, we have to actually, I'm gonna sand them down and then I gotta do the castle joints on the sides here. But that's gonna require kind of like the weird, like, ah, oh, I gotta slide it across my table saw that way and mm. I have to build a jig for that and that's, that's a complicated one. Safety, Pranav. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. Pranav, it'll be fine. The now safety expert of the, the not fuck up. That's not a good title. <laughs> As you can tell, the table is a lot more done. It's stable, I can put my weight on it. I, I, I think I can sit on it. I'm not going to try. Yeah, so the magnets sit here and you can just kind of like feel it click together. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah. Right, it's so satisfying. Yeah. This bowl is about five and a half inches long. It goes down to here. And you can kind of tell that I didn't pre-drill a large enough hole. So uh, the top of this wood started splitting. So you can kind of see the bottom here. Because <laughs> it's two pieces glued together, yeah. right? And then these two beams kind of jutting out of here, just honestly, just to look pretty more than anything. <laughs> I could cut them flush if I wanted to, but they look kind of cute. I want to keep them. It's looking pretty good. It's almost ready to ready to ship out. And by ship out, I mean go to my uh, <laughs> board game area. <laughs> okay, so this is the first time I'm putting all of this together. So let's see if this fits. Okay, one, two, Oh. oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Okay. So, okay, the only joint that doesn't fit perfectly is right here. And that's a fix I can do. So much leg room too. So it's much great. leg room. Oh, I can put my legs and my arms underneath if I really want to. So I'm gonna put the three blocks, one, two, three here, three on either side, and then it's done. That's the table. And the sanding, lots of sanding. Lots of sanding. Oh, and the plywood in the center. And that too, yeah. My finger is far away. Right, oh boy. Okay. Yeah, still it's just a stable, and this works out perfectly. Nice. This is what we want. I'll just mark the midpoint of all of these things, and then we're good. Okay. Yeah, holy crap, that's, I can't remove that at all. Yeah, come sit here, take a, take a look, try that. What are you trying to move? This, move this down? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't come down. I decided to go with mahogany for these top pieces here, but if I ever want to change them, I can just swap them out because they're magnetic. These are magnetically attached on here. I decided to go with that sort of modular design so that later I can take these pieces off and replace them with flat pieces for a table topper and it would just attach through magnets. I could just hide these pieces in the corner and whenever I'm coming out to play board games, I could just slap these pieces back on and it would be like nothing changed. This is the joint that we decided to go with. I put a little triangle here and labeled some of the parts because we might have had a little bit of a mishap um, putting things together because I was a bit of an idiot. But now I'll never forget where these pieces go, never. These are bolted in just because you can kind of see like I messed up making the castle joints right here. Um, but this is, I personally think, an absolutely gorgeous joint to go with. Um, just, I, I don't know what it is. I went with some really nice pine for these side pieces and construction grade pine for the base, or for the legs here. For the base of the table, I decided to go with a uh, half inch MDF. Um, and I basically what is, just- What is MDF? Don't know. Oh yeah, MDF is what you see in front of you. It's basically just like, they took a bunch of fine pieces of wood, sawdust, all sorts of garbage like that, compressed it with a bunch of glue, put it all together. It's more complicated than that, I'm pretty sure, but that's the best of my understanding of it. Do not braid this stuff in, it is so bad for you. These pieces are slotted in like this. Let me take the middle piece off. Okay. So these pieces are slotted in like this. I think this is the tightest fit that I have in here. It takes a little bit of convincing to get this to fit in here. Before I put these biscuits in here, um, this piece basically just freely flexed. I can actually show you what I mean by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see that? Like I just put some wormwood towels on there. That did a lot of damage to it. So angle it up like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. This needs a little bit of careful persuasion. Of there we go, okay. So now we can kind of see its flex. It's a lot better now. We can drop this piece on there. Still flexes a little bit, but that extra support that it gets, at least the extra little bit of stability that it gets from the biscuits, make me so much more confident in just putting some weight sitting on here. Pranav, it's, it's done. Round two, it's baby. Done. Oh no, I'm actually, oh my I'm gosh. so excited about this. <laughs> How long does it take? <laughs>
<laughs> this one took a lot longer from the beginning stages of planning to right now. Yeah. I think it's taken a bit over a month. Okay, yeah. So, okay, so just planning on the computer, right? With like the 3D model. Easily a week. A week, yeah. okay. Sitting there and accounting for every part and fitting everything mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. took a while. And I'm not even counting the time that it took for me to like go, oh, what kind of joints do I want to put this together with? Or like, just mm -hmm. like the idea of forming in my head, mm -hmm. you know? So overall, like 50 hours? I, I, I think it's definitely more than that. <laughs> okay. Like if you total the days, it's probably yeah. like four hours a day for two, no, more than two weeks. I know I worked on this for at least a week straight on some of the, like on the second or third yeah. week that I was working on it. When I was there, I wasn't really helping you, so I, I mean, was just filming. <laughs> but still, yeah. yeah. Running it through the mill, like the planner and stuff like that, I wouldn't have been able to do that by myself. Running back and forth along oh, there, yeah. that was definitely helpful. That was an experience. That was fun, right? I felt like I was in the, some like old school, like w factory, just right? like working it. So like, much fun. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> That's something I'd normally, like never be able to do. Yeah. Yeah. It took a while, but it's yours. Like, it is, yeah. yeah, yeah. I yeah. made this with my hands. So like, that's something I wouldn't ever fully experience because I am not planning this from the start, right? So yeah, this I guess is it's yours fair. now. Yeah, no, like I, yeah, I made every single part of it from scratch, right? From like, yeah. outside of like cutting the wood down from a tree, I did every other part <laughs> yeah. of it, right? Like, and making the, uh, stirring the lacquer. It's not lying if I say that a decent amount of the reason that I chose for this to be a rectangle is because I hated when people said, oh, you designed a Catan table. I see. <laughs> or maybe it has the like the idea, it's like, oh, it's just like a card game table. Exactly, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. whereas this really feels like it's a table and a board game table. Because you, you would know? have like dinner on a rectangular table. Exactly, right? right? Yeah, 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 yeah. it's like a hexagonal one, maybe it's just like a party table. Yeah, or it's like, like I don't know, maybe if I made a circular table, I could that just- That sounds like a more. nightmare. Definitely under 300 yeah. with every single part of the material. And like 60 hours? 60 hours, yeah. And thousand dollars worth of tools? Uh, more than that, if you count the wood <laughs> okay. tools, like yeah, if yeah. you count that mill, like that planer and the jointer, yeah, those at least ten grand, right? Though, grand? yeah, that's easily twenty grand's worth of tools. Yeah. Like that, no, that's like uh, probably probably around ten grand's worth of tools. So for normal board game players, who especially don't have experience with woodworking, I would advise to buy your own table. Buy a table. Yeah, I was I was filming Pranav doing this. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of work. Final product is great. It's gorgeous. It's, it's great. Gorgeous. And yeah. I know if I do this again, I can make it better. That's the thing. I know I can do it yeah, better. You can next always time. do it. It's a skill. Like you learn a skill. Exactly. But it's a lot of hours. Lot of there may be some safety concerns, but we got, we're getting better there. We've we're gotten getting, a lot we're better. We got, got a lot time. better. A yeah. lot better. This we time. read the comments, guys. Please do not follow exactly what these videos do before consulting some safety guidance. This video is better. <laughs> this video is better. This video is a lot better. A lot better. A lot better. My final thoughts, this is super impressive, but oh my gosh, if I started making a table on my own in high school or whatever, I would've never finished. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it'll be fine. It'll, it'll be, be fine. fine. This is the time where we do the patron shout out. Three, two, one, go. Manil G, Brian C, Clifford H, Aaron W, Max B, Bora, Jeremy M, C, Charlie B, Quentin S, Sam S, Travis R, Avalon, Aaron Bombs, G, Ryan D, Jeremy L, Matt G, Spears, Simon, Ryan J, Rad G, TMO, period, Mark A, James M, Evan B, Charles B, Jr., Josh J, Baskar, Rado, Sophie, Ryan Z, Colin L, Allen, Hudson T, Pearson B, Omar F, M, Y, Ethan P, Bradley J, John C, Galvin B, Dirk S, X, S, S, Co. Alex uh, L, L, Rob, Rob uh, R, Sandu, 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 Dave, Dave F, Josh R, R Pat, Cyril C, Il Wayne, Kyle M, Amir H, Relisman, Keanu S, Alba Books, Kyle C, John B, Nicholas R, Robin, Andre, Kevin G, Alex G, Tim W, John, Jordan F, Ben A, Jeff B, Alvin Y, Michael Z, Jeremy G. Ah, okay. There you go. And we have two, three. Two, I'll just read these two. Uh, two Matt two as a cardboard, cardboard ZL and Jeff L. L. And we got that guy on the screen over there. And then our Matt Lady a cardboard, Amy. Amy. Nice. I All right. That. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. That, that's the video. Yeah.